Hi everyone, welcome to Suresh Techs. If you are visiting our channel for the first time or if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe Suresh Techs. So in our previous tutorial, we had seen about the colors. So there are different options available to apply the colors in HTML, such as RGB, HSL, and uh, hex decimal values. So now in this tutorial, we will look at the CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. So CSS is a separate tutorial we are going to teach in our Suresh text channel but this is just a small introduction about the CSS so don't get confused with this so just think that this is a small introduction about the CSS which you are going to learn in future tutorials now so as I said earlier CSS stands for cascading style sheets so we said CSS saves a lot of work so how does the CSS saves a lot of work okay we will look into all these steps in today's tutorial okay now so there are three ways to provide styles in CSS so one is inline external and then CSS inline internal and then external so what is what do you mean by inline what do you mean by internal and what do you mean by an external okay so let us look at all this stuff so inline so inline applies a unique style to a single HTML element so what do you mean by a single HTML element so let me open our previous tutorial so previous tutorial we had seen about the quotations okay so this is the outcome of okay so this is the outcome okay so here we have the styles and then we have the styles for the paragraph okay so there are the different styles which we had applied already now what do you mean by inline so inline applies styles where a single element now if you look at this so this is a paragraph okay so this is a paragraph and this is how we are providing the style to this paragraph so how are we providing we are using a style attribute okay so this if you are applying a style to a single element using an attribute called style this is called an inline style okay this is called inline style so inline stands for a unique style to a single element okay so this is how you pro this is how we provide the inline so that means we had already seen about inline styling okay so this is called inline styling now there is something called internal CSS internal style shading so internal styles are used to define a style for a single HTML page so this this is used to provide a style for the entire page and that to a single HTML page so how do we do that we define the style element inside the head section of the HTML page so as I said earlier okay we use the head after the HTML okay so what is the use what is the use of head okay head is like a metadata okay now earlier we had provided the title so title we had provided the Suresh text so this is we have provided the title and we had seen the outcome of it so currently this is a quotation just html so which is the name of the file which we had created but instead if you change the head element to provide a title that would be displayed here so this is how it will be displayed so similarly there are different other elements we can keep under head one such is internal style sheet so internal style sheet is basically you provide the style attribute inside head okay so this is how you provide so then what do you do inside this so inside this you will provide the styles for the page as I said internal styles are used to provide the style for a single HTML page okay so how do we provide that for example you have body here and then you have a paragraph and then you have few other elements in in your web page now let me apply a color to the body so how do I do that so I do that by providing body followed by angular brackets opening and then closing so here I'll apply the styles if I apply background color here let me apply maroon okay so this is how I apply okay now what I'll do let let me keep it like this okay I'll just save this okay if I refresh this see there is nothing happened it's because what happened first the internal style sheet got applied on top of that we have an internal sorry an inline style here okay we have an inline style so what is happening so the inline style overriding the internal style so that means internal style sorry that means inline style will always override the internal style so let me remove this now 
okay i removed it did i remove it properly yeah <laughs> so i have removed it now if i refresh this see so virun got applied so that means our internal style sheets are working so let me apply um color to the paragraph okay p stands for paragraph and i will give color yellow now what will happen i will remove the inline styles from all the paragraph i removed from here and then i have another paragraph here i am removing from here so if i refresh this and if i save this see now what happens we haven't applied style here and we haven't applied style here instead we applied style in the internal style sheets so then what happens wherever you provide paragraph element inside your web page everywhere it is going to be applied okay so that is the use of internal style sheets so if you provide something inside your internal style sheet that will be applied to the entire page and that is the single page in your html web application okay so now now if you want to provide a separate color to this okay, if you want to provide a separate color to this so how do you do that so you could specify something called id okay you can give some id okay you can give something like um let's say some title some id anything you can give now you can use this id to provide the color so how do you do that you provide title and then followed by this in but just to specify that this is id you have to provide ash now if you give some other color um oh, oh, i'll give black or um some different color i want to give green okay let me save this and refresh this see the green got applied so this is how you will use the id attribute inside any element so id is basically to identify it and to apply something on top of it it can be color or it can be anything so this is how we use the internal style sheets and the final one is the external style sheets okay and the final one is the external style sheet now the external style sheet is used to provide the style for many html pages consider your web application has 100 html pages now if you have an external style sheet defined in your web application so that will be very beneficial so how do we do that okay so how do we do that we have to create a different page so that's called an external css page so how do we do that you have to create a file with an extension called css okay and then you have to reference it using an attribute or an element called a link you have to use an element called link you have to provide the relation which is style sheet because this is what we are working on css style sheet so the relation should be style sheet and then followed by the reference of the html page the external html page which you create not html page uh, it's a css page the external css page which you create to apply the styling for the web application so how do you do that so how do we do that let's see so you have to create a new file okay so basically you have to create a new file so you have to create a new file and where you have to specify where you have to specify the styles how do you specify let me give background color um yellow okay let me save this okay so what i will do i will give external style dot css it has to be css okay cascading style sheets okay now i have changed this right so we had we had used an element called body and we had applied a background color now how to use this particular css inside here so how do we do that we we use something called link right we use link followed by a relation the relation is style sheet and then we use edge reference and then you have to provide okay you have to provide the path which is external style dot css okay now what happens let me save this and let's see what will happen refreshing nothing happened nothing happened because first external style sheet will apply so which is yellow and then so now what happened nothing got changed it's because 
first external styles so it will apply so it will apply background color of yellow and then the internal style will apply which will apply background color of maroon now what i will do i will remove this okay i just removed it let me refresh this now see it's got applied so that means our external style sheet is working our external style sheet is working so this is how it happens first external style sheet will apply and then internal style sheet will apply and finally it will be overridden by the inline style sheet so this is how we use external style sheets okay now for example uh, uh, what is the use of it right what is the use of it now consider uh, in your web application you have 20 pages okay in all these 20 pages uh, in, in all these 20 pages you have to provide the background color of yellow so how do you do that basically you have to either use an inline or either use an internal style sheets to provide the background color but instead instead to reduce the code okay so what do you do you will have an external style sheet with the body specified in this way so now what you will do let me have a new page okay or anyway we have this page right uh, text formatting which we had seen already okay uh, do we have any background color here we don't have a background color to the body so now what i will do i will use an external style sheet here i'll use head and then i'll close this so guys if you haven't seen this tutorial please go ahead and watch this tutorial and and then you will get you will have a better understanding about it okay so i'll have a link inside this okay and then i'll give the relation as style sheet okay so before before saving this and refreshing this let me look at that so this is what okay so we don't have a background here now i'm changing this okay the relation and the hedge reference okay the reference is external style dot css i'm closing this all right saving this refreshing this see applied so now we haven't done anything now currently we have only currently we have only one element and we have uh, some styling applied to this element instead instead when you are applying instead when you are developing a web application a large application you will have a lot of things inside an external style sheet so it's always best practice to provide an external style sheet so in this tutorial so don't worry about it because we are just looking at the introduction of the css okay so just this is just an introduction about the css and when we look at the css tutorial we will look a lot of other options available in the css okay so this is what we had seen now so seen about the external style sheets and we had seen about the id attribute and there is one more attribute called the class attribute what does a class attribute do so we had seen about the id right so similarly class attribute is also used to provide styles for a specific type of the elements okay the specific type of the elements for example you have a paragraph inside your html page okay you have a paragraph inside your html page now i'll consider you have 10 paragraph 10 paragraphs now it's not a good practice to provide 10 different 10 different ids okay instead you can use a single class okay and you can and you can and then you can use that class name okay and then you can use that class name to provide the style okay how do you how do you do that so let me give a simple example let me have okay few more here so i have different here now instead of providing different ids and different okay you should you should always have a single id single unique id in your page okay it's not a good practice to provide the same ids again and again instead you can use something called a class so class you will give something called title okay you can you, you can have same classes again and again but you should not have the same ids again and again now consider you don't have so this is a different type of element which is basically not a title the first three paragraphs represents the title whereas the other two paragraphs represent some some other type of paragraphs so now we are applying style for the type of title okay so i'm just telling that these three paragraphs of one type so now how to apply the colors or how to apply the styles so what you do you use the element followed by the class name sorry 
uh, use the element followed by the class name which is title so here you can apply the colors consider you want to apply background green okay so let me refresh this okay see background applied to this section of the so this type of element so there are so this is one type of the attribute available in CSS okay so as I said earlier so don't get, don't get confused with all this stuff this is an introduction about the CSS we will look into more tutorials or we will look into many things many things available in CSS we will look into all those stuff in uh, the further tutorials okay don't get confused with this okay that's it for today please do subscribe to this text thank you mm -hmm.